Hello guys, hope you're well. Today we're going to have a different tutorial for you guys. This is not 3D, this is uh, completely Photoshop and what we're going to do this golden uh, badge design and this is 100% scalable so we're only going to use uh, layer effects and, and, and at the end of the tutorial I'm going to show you how to scale them. Okay, so let's get started. I created a base of this badge. It's basically three shapes and got the size here and uh, so you can follow along the first thing you have to do is just basically double click um, nope go to the shapes go to the properties here and then just change from fill to uh, change the, the solid color fill to gradient fill and 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 then double click on the layer and then let's just do some uh, adjustment okay first of all this color here I've got prepared yeah let's use that good and then the other one other side is going to be this lighter version good just pull them in a little bit let's say like 25% oops we don't need this there we go and yeah change the style to radial Mm -hmm. reverse it and then the size I think 120% works well and I want to basically drag this highlight to the top sometimes you'll need to basically close it and then double click to open it again to do to be able to do that so just be aware of that so now it's up on the right on the top there we go so this feels good let's just stick to this Next, we have to go and add some stroke effect. Okay, so the first stroke effect we're going to use is, uh, let's make sure that it's visible. Great, there we go. So let's use inside, um, that's 20, nope. I say 40, yeah, let's use 40, 40 pixel. And we have to change from color to gradient and then let's create this look here. So as you can see from the top, it starts off with um, this color and then I add another one, move it to 75. I think that should be fine. Let's see, change the color to white. Okay, and change the other side to this darker color and the location to 75. Oops, sorry, no, 25. There we go. Okay, and then the bottom will be a lighter version. That's too light, let's use this one here. There we go. All right, let's just adjust it a little bit because I don't think that works. Let's say 40. Yeah, that's good. And then the top can come down to 80. 85 and then the white can go to 65 let's see nope let's just move it move it move it move it a bit higher up there we go Oops. There we go. and this white is a bit too strong so i think we'll maybe this one yeah i think this one here yeah, a little bit or something like that okay this should be fine so once that's done we're going to add another one it's also going to be in a let's change it to let's say 48 yes uh, also gradient but this is going to be a, a lot more simple mm -hmm. there we go oh I changed the top one okay no problem so you can you can basically change the order here so you can just select the one you want to move and then you can go move up and down so I moved it underneath because obviously I need this to be underneath the other one and then the size is too big let's go to 44 46 yeah that's good all right let's adjust the uh, gradient so on the top as you can see it's white and I'm um, just going to swap these around 
okay so the top is white and then you coming down and uh, it will be darker like this yeah I think that should be fine okay let's have a look at this and then add the final stroke make sure that the bottom one selected and then change the size to I say 66 yeah 66 should be fine and we're going to just reverse it I think yeah we we'll reverse it adjust the colors a little bit need something darker like this okay and then uh, bottom one is fine but let me just add another one in the middle 50 there we go let's see this dark one here okay let's see yeah this is looking good you know just to save time and I'm going to be going exactly to the same identical design I'll just give you the idea okay so got that done all good now we're going to work on this shade here so the way you do it you can use an inner glow and then just change the color um, let's just use black for now I just want to show you like so you have to have a really big sized uh, inner shed you know glow but you need to use the choke and experiment uh, where exactly you'll find a similar look so you'll okay so this yeah this is nice I like this a lot so let's change the blend mode and let's see uh, 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 multiply or not multiply linear but yeah that's fine and then just go down have a look which one is the best okay so with 30 and then just just a little bit uh, yeah just a little. there we go okay. oops that's too much mm -hmm. all right let's go with something like this yeah right you'll get the idea okay once it's done uh, the final thing I wanted to do this highlight here and then the way to do it is basically just a gradient overlay and then um, let's just go with the basic white one and make sure it's radial there we go and then reset alignment mm, change the angle to zero there we go and the scale let's see 25 yeah, 25 is fine so now I want to drag it to the top but uh, it just doesn't really work for some reason so you have to quit from these uh, layer effects go back open gradient and then now you can drag it up to the top here you see so it's an interesting thing don't know why is that like that okay change the size change the blend mode let's experiment color dodge nope linear dodge is better I think and then just change the opacity something like that you know you can just play with this there we go this this will be fine I think and the final thing I wanted to do is some sort of highlight like uh, like the, the the light coming from the top is bouncing back so the way I did it it was an inner shadow and the inner shadow comes from the bottom so it's minus 90 and uh, let's just create let's just use a black color for now so we can we can we can see how it looks let me just okay so you can see it how it comes from the bottom there remove the noise we don't need it but then let's change the color to a brighter one and okay yeah and then we'll just basically reduce opacity something like this something like this yeah, like that. so you obviously have to experiment with uh, with the uh, distance and size and the opacity and stuff like that but this is basically how you achieve that kind of light from the bottom okay once that's done let's move on to the next step which is basically this diamond shape so got the size here and all you have to do is basically just go into the plan options and apply bevel and emboss and yeah let's just uh, reset the default there we go 
So in a bevel uh, smooth, I just going to choose chisel hard and then going up to 500% size. And yeah, you can just go up as long as it goes. Like, you know, this is a thing like 80 should be fine. All right, so once this is done, let's adjust the uh, angle to 50 degrees and 30 is fine. Also change the gloss contour to um, this one here. Right, let's select um, not linear, um, not screen, but linear dodge and going up to um, 70 75%. There we go. Uh, multiply is fine, but a little bit too strong. Let's go down to 30. Yeah, that works well. Another thing I wanted to do is just add a drop shadow, and this is actually fine. Normal black, 30% opacity, and then distance to size 9, and that's all here. So as you can see, I got a little bit of highlight going on on this side, and the way I achieved it is just basically duplicated the uh, diamond shape cleared all layer style and remove the fill set the fill to 0% and then go back to the blend options and just use inner glow so once you do that you can just basically go with the nice bright color okay and then let's experiment with size and things like that okay so as you can see here we can change the size and then the choke is, is, is way too high. We can go down to zero to be honest. And uh, let's see, linear burn doesn't work. Yeah, linear dodge is fine, but we need to remove the opacity and go down to like, I don't know, 20%. That should be fine. Okay, that's looking good. So the next step is this wing. And it's, uh, again, um, you can go to shape and change the feel from solid color to gradient, okay? Right. Uh, 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 uh. Why is it doesn't do it? Okay, let's see again. Okay, now it, it's working. Okay, good. So now once this is done, double click to do the uh, change the parameters here. And this one is going to be the darkest color and then the brightest one as well. There we go. Change it to Okay, let's go into like 25 and then like 75, something around there. There we go. Okay, change it to radial and the angle should be zero. There we go. And then let's just raise the scale 150, something like that. Yeah. 160, 150 should be fine, I think. Yeah, let's use 150 for now. That's fine. Okay, so once that's done, uh, I'm going to change a little bit the shape. So you can just select the pen tool and then just select the corner you want to change or you can just use this panel here. I actually use this panel here. This. Okay, good. So once that's done, the final thing I wanted to add is basically a stroke. And the stroke is going to be, um, let's see, is it, should we do a gradient? No. Yeah, we're going to do a gradient and then one side is going to be uh, this very bright yellow and the other side is going to be i'm going to do this use the same but i'm going to remove opacity to zero there we go okay make sure the overprint is checked and then just change the size to let's say like eight yeah that's fine. Okay. And once it's done, uh, yeah, actually, we need to add drop shadow the same as the other one was. Perfect. One thing I did is basically I just kind of uh, added two more points into the middle here. So it's one, two, and then just kind of like use one side and just move it up a, a little bit, other bit, other side as well, and then just push it back to its place and then you can literally just copy it and then create more shapes like that and that's what actually I did I just copied a couple of time move it up and and I was just playing with the size so like uh, 
within a couple of times. There we go. And then just maybe change the size as well. There we go. And you know, just uh, play with it until you find something you like. There we go. Also, we can move the middle bit down like that. You know, something like that. And uh, so this is how we build it up. I build it up this shape. And uh, these are the techniques I use. Obviously, you spend more time on it, and then you achieve a much better look. Like this one, I was spending more time on it, and, and you know, all the details, all the stuff I, I adjusted it was just uh, um, more uh, thorough. Okay, so this is basically the badge design I wanted to show you guys. And uh, oh, yeah, one more thing how to scale the actual design. So, what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to choose my other one and I'm just going to duplicate the group into a new file and then here I'm going to select the base and that's yeah, like just kind of select my design and, and once that's done I'm going to the crop tool and just kind of click twice so I got the size here and all you have to do as you can see um, if you want to change the, the size let's say I duplicate it okay and I go down 50% so all the settings will kind of um, remain the same so it will look really ugly it doesn't hold the proportion so it's important when you do that you there's two ways to do it you can either go on to your individual shapes and then just scale effect and change it to 50% and then it will give you the same result or the second option which I recommend to do is basically just to have your design and then go to image image size okay, let's just go back image size yeah there we go and let's change it uh, 50% so and then you, you need to make sure that the scale style is uh, checked so it's checked now so once you do the scale then um, so basically you will you will um, you will scale down the effect as well so this is how you can keep it uh, nice and uh, vectorized okay so if you have any questions just comment on the video and uh, if you like these kind of videos just let me know and we can try something else we can do different kind of uh, game sets maybe coins uh, gems anything you like okay thank you bye